Hey guys, it's Celine. It's Monday evening at the moment, the 7th or 8th, is it? Yes, the 8th of May. I have been working with images again, as you can see here, right? Um, I've been, it was, it's kind of interesting because I notice changes in myself where things are becoming more integrated and more connected to each other and that's kind of well yeah I can feel things changing and it's kind of cool so the first thing I wanted to come out with here I uh, as you can see this is the Voyager tarot it's uh, an old-fashioned I suppose kind of deck um, which is why it appeals to me this is the book that goes with it it is very much pre-owned by several people and I didn't really, um, I mean, I've worked with this occasionally. I've had this for a couple of years. It was given to me by somebody who didn't use it. The last time, however, that I really purposefully did use it, uh, other than I think last week or so, was definitely a couple of years ago. So maybe four or five years ago that I've actually had a period where I was really full on working with this and then not for a very long time so I never really other than what I've done with the deck as to cropping the images and uh you know editing the colors and so on and so forth which I've talked about on my channel I have never really um I noticed that there's a level okay so I make things for myself like this one, for example, is part of a little mini deck of goddess uh, cards that I made. I just made a set of images. These here are actually an even more random uh, set of images from all sorts of sources that sort of sit together in a bag that I have found interesting to sort of pick out and, you know, intuitively connect with and relate to and over here is a terracotta uh, pottery little disc with a uh, labyrinth shape a maze shape and a skull on it and this is part of a set of these kinds of things where it is like um, what they call witches runes you know what I mean only I wanted to make a set for myself that was a bit more elaborate and had a bit more that had a bit more uh, going on than the traditional um, witch's runes. So that one there has a like a fox-like creature, but they all have skulls in them because I felt that was cool. These are the backs with the moon. And this one is a hand that holds a fan and on the fan's panels are little skull-like faces like that. So each of these actually means something. There's 13 of them sitting in this little uh, cotton uh, thingamabob here. And so, uh, you know, all of these mean something to me. And you could go in all sorts of directions with that. But similarly with these and with the clay things and with the goddess things and with the other randomized uh, imagery, imagery uh, things and bits and pieces here, is that I was obsessed with making them. <laughs> I have always made things out of cardboard <laughs> for, uh, you know, for years now. This is what's been happening. So I find, you know, you find these websites with uh, loads of images online and one is cuter than the other and I just end up wanting to have that in my collection somehow. See, with the bunnies there, the round thing, I just got to have one of those and I got to have one of those. And I just keep going. And these are just so random. They even got backs with individual colors on them, like total, total chaos. So what I notice nowadays, and that's the link with the Voyager thing here, is that I don't, um, I tend to obsess over the, artisan level of things so for the voyager deck i have been obsessing over creating a layer of ink over the top of the images because of the garish colors and the lighting issues that were you know part of the original photographs that the things were cut out to be used here 
Um, this is a fairly good example where personally I would originally, you know, I wouldn't enjoy the fact that the lighting on this heads of a whale here and the color of the light on the head of the whale, the color of the light in the sunset here behind those high rise buildings, the light on this building over here coming from the front, that, that they're all different. Personally, that drives me nuts instantly. Whereas what I have done with my ochre wash, as I have mentioned already a hundred times here, I think, I created, well, it worked. It works in oil paint and it worked here as well to get more of a uniform sense of, of lighting, even though nothing much has changed. I've been so worried about that and so obsessed with creating my layers and making sure that it all got to a point where I could actually live with it that I never really um, en enjoyed the Voyager tarot as a tarot enthusiast myself up until this point. And now it is like a part of me has come alive inside, like I said. And what I get is that these images now, um, it is like I've owned them, owned them all my life. Or like I inherited them from an aunt of mine, for example, it's like there's a whole story, which isn't the truth, I swear, it's a story in my brain, where this aunt of mine uh, bought these when they came out in whatever it was, 90 something, or 86, or whatever it was, can I find that real quick, 89, it says in the book here, so that was maybe not a first edition, but that, you know, that there's this whole context of a nice, friendly family member of mine uh, who would have used these all that time and who would have, uh, you know, had me over as a kid on Saturdays. And in 89, I was already, no, I was 17, I think, give or take. Is that true? No, I was over 20 because I was born in 66. So somehow, <laughs> here's, here's technology for you. These images may have been, the cards may have been published in 89, but a lot of these images and the photography of the images that uh, is in them is, of course, older. That explains it. Why I get this late 70s feel. And I get a feeling from these cards that I am between 8 and 12 years old. It makes perfect sense now. If I just <laughs> think for a minute, you know, I can see that the aesthetic of the original photographs that this stuff is taken from, from the collage, you know, work, the magazines that everybody used to have back in the day. Um, I should really leaf through them and see if I can find uh, a really good example of some type of vintage aesthetic from the 80s. Let's just go through here for another second. And, well, maybe here some of these... As in, you know, travel and holiday magazines and um, tourist tourist uh, destinations, kinds of that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe it's possible to see the age of the image in one way or another. At least it adds up in my brain to that and it just becomes more of a part of my life and because of a lot of my life gets new shape nowadays that's what I was you know having I feel my relationship with my Voyager Tarot is changing and deepening as a result and I have a, a deep appreciation for something that I feel has shared in my life or that I have shared in the backstory of of this you know it is almost as if there would be images in here um, that I used to know. 
liminal space anybody <laughs> yes <laughs> so i reset the deck i set it all back in order and that uh, has sat here with a couple of carnelians and bracelets and things around it and it was it's okay it's ready for a new shuffle and we can use it again and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens as it is what i was doing today really was just other than that i did a general reading for my husband and me with two uh, you know, with the Marseille cards that you see here, the two pages, the um, ones page and the cups page. And this is the result of that. And then because of changes in our relationship and the way we interact at the moment and because of the two more things happening between us, it gets really confusing sometimes. And it also gets um, like I feel like I have... I, I don't have a lineage to rely on for people to tell me what to do or think with my tumo. I can only do what I feel is right. And that has been a tough call lately. So my general reading serves to analyze my um, you know, the two perspectives for me and my husband there, where the uh, cups page is my husband, actually, the queen of wands and the page of wands are parts of myself in there it just connected really easily and um i have well i have my own interpretation of those cards at the moment but i felt like it was really cool to sort of supplement by now the general reading with a something a bit more emotional and this is the the um yeah, what you call those? The stone I pulled out of the Scully uh, set, with which has a maze on it, like a labyrinth. So that shows me, you know, a part of my own interpretation of this situation that I'm in at the moment, where everything is going really well, but I'm still very confused and still very unsure as to how to go about things. And these three cards from the random set illustrate aspects of why it is that I feel insecure and certainly these two I just pulled the cards I was drawn to really I looked at these okay the thing here and the goddess card I pulled unseen these three I looked at the things and ended up deciding okay these three should sit here for a bit and I can look at them this is actually one of a set of three uh, little Rotko paintings that is in my set and this is the darkest one I personally I'm not really so nuts about Rotko but I do appreciate him and his work um, in some cases and this is just a really good illustration together these two certainly for how I was feeling in connection to having actual control over things through my tumo practice now that I am that isn't yeah that nobody has given you permission to be that way nobody gives you permission to be strong and in control right and it's kind of scary by itself and you second guess yourself and you get into imposter syndrome and all the rest of it so no matter how knowledgeable you are or how careful and how caring I go about things and my goddess that came out so that is Kali here of course tells me to just get the job done <laughs> basically and not uh, not be a, uh, a wet uh, a wet wimp about this you know kill the demons get the demons out is what she's saying whereas if instead of her I had gotten for example out of my set here this one, yes, they all have this sort of beautiful piece of Hungarian embroidery at the bottom. And this is the same embroidery, but that is actually a, um, what is it, 14th century Madonna statuette from uh, Right My Neighborhood, which I have filmed also occasionally on my channel. If I'd had this card in the advice position instead of Kali, it would have been a completely different story. I would have had to appeal to my mother's 
my mother, my motherly qualities, I suppose, you know, things like that. And so there's a whole set of different, um, different types of qualities in there as well. So, yeah, so I was really pleased to notice that it actually works now that I have outgrown <laughs> the state of affairs where I am basically worried about gluing my cards together properly, getting the uh, the images in the middle and the right shape of the images and all the rest of it and um, pleasing colors and whatnot. And by now I am actually in a position where I can um, start using these and grow up <laughs> with with them a bit more and see what happens and there's all this gorgeous art i will uh, put a link in the description down below uh to where i got at least this image and not that one but there's a number of those types of playing cards in here with the animals and all that that i actually got this one as well which I believe is a, is that a number 15, 16? Yes, this is like a pandemonium hell's mouth uh, tower card kind of a deal going on here, which is very different. And some of them come from museum websites. Here's another funny playing card type where it's actually uh, from a set of cards that show professions in the Middle Ages and things like that. The fireplace seeing as i love to cook this card had to go in there of course and so you know lots more yeah so a link will be eventually in the description thank you for watching my ramble here i am uh, i'm i'm loving having this stuff now and um, i'm looking forward to working with it uh, more and especially as they connect to a general reading where i already know what it is that i'm doing but it is more, um, it's less personal and less emotional to work with these. So these supplement that in one way or another. So yeah, so I thought I'd just share that. Thank you for watching and I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be back. I always come back. So thank you. See you next time. Ciao, ciao.